Hi everyone, Kieran here. As part of the July release, we introduced additional functionality within the Heights tab of Toolpaths. These enhancements made it easier to define heights relative to which of the stock, model, or fixture was highest or lowest, ultimately aiding customers looking to automate their toolpaths by making them more efficient. These improvements are particularly relevant when defining the clearance and retract heights at which rapid moves take place during machining and can be useful in particular situations when model positions change as a result of tool orientations. Say for example on 3 plus 2 toolpaths where the A or B axis is flipped 90 degrees making the fixtures now the highest point. We have listened very carefully to the feedback we have made a few improvements to the Heights tab going forward. Firstly, we have reinstated explicit options like Stock Top and Model Bottom, and these have now been set as default going forward, as they were before the July release. Secondly, we have also additionally added individual Fixture Top and fixture bottom options to enable fixtures to be taken into account this way too. Lastly, the highest of and lowest of options can now consider the tops or bottoms of stock, model and fixtures as well as ignore them altogether. For consistency, Corresponding changes have also been made for the radial heights associated to rotary milling and turning toolpaths as well. Ultimately, these changes mean the dropdown is now a slightly longer list, with the highest of and lowest of and outermost and innermost of options now placed at the bottom. However, we think these changes will provide the right balance going forward between ease of use and capability. As always, from me, cheers.